I'm Mikey from Third Elements Pottery, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to marble glaze. And you can follow along if you have our featured kit on our website at thornelementspottery.com. So first you'll need to gather all of your materials for this project. You should see everything that comes in your kit, which will be your bisque bowl, your paintbrushes, and your tubs of paint. And then you'll need to gather some things from around the house. You'll need a bowl of water with a clean sponge, a pencil, and it might help to have a roll of paper towels. So let's get started! All right, so before we get to painting, we have to clean the bowl off. So you're gonna grab your bowl with water and a clean sponge, squeeze a lot of the water out, and we're gonna wipe down the bowl everywhere, inside and out. Now we do this for a couple of reasons. One, if there's any dust on the bowl, we wanna get that off. But also, the glaze will stick to the bowl a little bit better if it's just a little bit damp. So we can set this aside and we're ready to get painting. There's a few color palettes to choose from in this kit. I'm going to be using the color palette, which consists of Pool Party, Key Lime Pie, and Bebop and Blue. So when we start painting, we're going to use Pool Party, because that's our main color. And we're going to do one thick coat on the inside of our bowl. This will be our base coat, and we'll marble on top of that. I'm also going to paint the outside rim of my bowl in Pool Party. Now, if I want the outside rim to be a nice, solid color, I'd want to do two or three thick coats. But for the inside, we're going to leave it at one thick coat. That way, when we go to marble, there won't be too much glaze inside the bowl. Now that this is all dry, it's time to paint the bottom of the bowl. We can put our main color aside for now. We're going to grab a fresh, clean brush and your second color. I'm going to be using Bebop and Blue for the bottom of my bowl, but you're absolutely welcome to use Key Lime Pie. Now while we're painting the bottom of the bowl, I recommend holding the bowl gently from the inside so that you can rotate it as we paint around the bottom. If you're finding it a little bit hard to hold the bowl and paint it at the same time, what you can do is take a paper towel and get a couple sheets, fold them all together. Then you can place your bowl on this paper towel. And what you can now do is you'll be able to rotate the bowl without actually touching it. So once we have three coats of our bottom color, we're going to set our bowl aside to dry. And we're going to prepare our other paints for marbling. So to do this, you're going to need all three tubs of paint. And then we're going to grab our bowl with water again. And using the sponge, we're going to squeeze a lot of water out of it. And then use it to drip a little bit of water into each paint tub. We need to add water to our paints so that they can flow easily to create the marble effect. Then you're going to grab the back of a paintbrush and stir each one up. It's okay if you get a little bit of one color in the tub of another color, because we're going to mix them together anyways. Now with water in our paints, it's time to start marbling. So the first step is to take your cup of the main color that you painted around the inside of the bowl and to pour about half of it right into the bottom of the bowl. So what you're going to want to do next is get a paintbrush for each of your other colors. Now we're going to get a nice glob of this blue color. We're just going to dab it in all around. You can add some of it into the pool of the light blue in the bottom of your bowl. Then we're going to do the same thing with our green. Now what we're going to do is use the pool of runny paint in the bottom of our bowl to swirl all the other colors around. We want to spin it all the way around, getting the paint as close to the lip of the bowl as possible. If you're finding that the paint doesn't flow as much as you'd like it, you can take a paintbrush and dip it in your water and add a little bit more water to the mix. And as you're swirling, you can go ahead and add a few more accent colors.
All right, I think that's looking pretty good. So now we're gonna set this aside to completely dry. Now that your bowl's completely dry, all that's left to do is write your name on the bottom. So we're gonna take our soft bed of paper towels again, take our bowl and flip it over, and then using a pencil, not a marker and not a pen, we're gonna write our full name on the bottom of our piece. And we're done. Now all you gotta do is drop it back off at Throne Elements Pottery so we can fire it.